You already know about black holes, giant space vacuums that pull inside everything in their way. But have you ever heard of a space phenomenon called white holes? And what would happen if these two met and let's say collided? Let's hop on a shuttle, venture into space and get to know them better first. As you already know, you can't see black holes directly, even with fancy telescopes that detect light, x-rays or other types of electromagnetic radiation. But we can see what a black hole does to the things that surround it. For example, when a black hole passes through a cloud of space matter, it pulls everything towards itself in a process called accretion. As the matter is pulled in, it becomes hot and emits detectable x-rays. Or something else can happen. Sometimes, a regular star comes too close to a black hole and gets torn apart. A black hole is a super dense object with an incredibly strong gravitational pull that starts stretching the poor star out into a long and thin shape like spaghetti. You've probably guessed it, we call this spaghettification. As the pieces of the star are pulled in, they become hot and emit x-rays. A black hole can choose a different method too, squishing the star and making it flat like a pancake. In the other corner, you have a mysterious white hole. These are less well known because we don't have much information about them. Our knowledge of white holes is based on theories derived from the same mathematical equations used to describe black holes. To witness this battle, you would need to get close to a white hole. But don't worry, at least this one won't eat you and turn you into spaghetti or a pancake. Just like nothing can escape a black hole, nothing can enter a white hole. It's like the most exclusive club in space with no entry allowed. You can see that white hole also has a mass and even spin. There might be a ring of dust and gas around its outer edge, known as the event horizon, which acts as a border separating the white hole from the rest of the universe. While they share similarities, there is one crucial difference. A white hole can release matter and energy, while a black hole cannot. Scientists describe a white hole as the time reversal of a black hole. As if you're watching a video of a black hole played backwards. Things that are already inside a white hole can leave and interact with the outside world. However, nothing from outside space can ever affect the secretive inner world of a white hole. Einstein said that space and time are not flat. They can bend and fold. All because things like stars and planets have mass. A scientist named Carl Schwarzschild figured out how to use Einstein's ideas to describe what happens around a really heavy object. He discovered something called a singularity. It's a point of infinite density, and it lies at the center of a black hole. It's like a tiny, tiny point where everything is squished together all the matter that the black hole has consumed. The tricky part is that the singularity is so small that it doesn't really make sense in our normal understanding of time and space. Plus, it bends space around it so much that it creates a special area that's cut off from the rest of the universe. We call this area a no man's land, which is basically where black holes exist. Scientists still can't understand what happens at the point of singularity in black holes, let alone white holes. So let's go back to the questions we started the story with. What's stronger, and what would win then? It seems black and white holes have completely different strategies. A white hole is a mystery that we still don't know much about. But it seems more experienced at conquering space than a black hole is. I mean, a black hole swallows matter and everything it encounters, true. But a theory suggests that white holes may have once been black holes. They're purely imaginary for now, but stories say white holes can only exist if there is absolutely no matter inside their boundaries. If even the smallest particle entered a white hole, it would cause it to collapse. 
That's a significant disadvantage in a potential battle, don't you think? But it's also a really tough task to try to sneak a small asteroid inside a white hole. Its gravity is most likely extremely powerful and will push you away. This is where the singularity comes into play. Remember when I said scientists were not sure what really happens with this tiny, tiny dot of infinite density? It can't be that a black hole just infinitely collects matter in its center. Something else has to be happening there. Hmm, what if this singularity kind of rebounds and actually becomes a white hole? Of course, it would take a really long time for this to happen. Like billions of years, even for the smallest black holes. There's a special type called primordial black holes, and scientists think those probably formed right after the universe was born. And if there were really tiny black holes created after the Big Bang, they might have already exploded and turned into white holes. Some scientists even think white holes could possibly explain the Big Bang, since both involve an enormous amount of matter and energy appearing out of nowhere. All this doesn't sound promising for a black hole. Can this be the first time ever it's gonna lose? If a black hole becomes a white hole, it doesn't even matter how much it's consumed. It might throw everything back out into space. In that case, a white hole might not last that long, so it will need to make a move against its opponent really quickly. Whoa, you may have thought you were safer near the white hole because it wasn't about to eat you. But look at it. It's shaking. Oh no, it started ejecting all the things it's been keeping inside at the speed of light. Get out of the way to not have some ripped planet catapulted in your direction. After millions, even billions of years of making a mess all around the universe, a magnificent, spectacular, and chaotic battle is about to start. The black hole is patiently taking the attack, pulling in everything that the white hole is throwing in its direction. Asteroids, all those ripped stars that used to shine so brightly in the night sky, planets, and even entire galaxies, it's all getting out of it insanely fast and in all directions. Both the white and black hole have managed to survive against every space object till now. But that's just because they haven't faced each other yet. It's an exhausting battle that doesn't stop. All odds were against the black hole at the beginning. But look, it seems something is changing. The white hole is slowly losing energy since it can't swallow any new things and renew its supplies. Meanwhile, the black hole is patiently collecting everything its opponent has thrown at it during this fierce attack, growing bigger and bigger. It can keep doing it for thousands of years. Its insanely strong gravity brings the white hole closer, even though it's trying to escape. And the time comes for the last strike. The black hole's gravity starts stretching its enemy until it swallows it entirely. The white hole is completely gone, and now that it has so much energy, our winner is more massive and stronger than ever. Oh no, run! Now you have this hungry, supermassive black hole wandering around looking for more things to eat. Until it falls apart into a white hole again one day and starts an even bigger, more magnificent battle that the entire universe will watch. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.